do with the show. Um, the Boston Marathon released their women's field, Gordon, yesterday, and it is star-studded to say the least. London moved to the fall again for 2022, leaving Boston as the only spring major marathon. And the result is we're going to get two of the three best women right now in the world. And some might even say these are the two top women in Perez, Jep Chircher, and Jocelyn Chepkoskai. Um, together, they won London and New York in the fall. Jep Chircher is the Olympic champion. Jep Koskai, obviously, run, has run 217 as well. The American field is stacked as well, too. But what were your first impressions when you looked at at this field? It feels like we went from, hey, all the good people are spread out because all every major is in the fall to, hey, Springs only got one major. We're going to throw everybody in there and make this an amazing race. Yeah, I mean, it's basically got the best of London and the best of Boston all at Boston, you know, because London is in October again this year. Final year will be in October. Um, but I'm like, I'm pumped to see. Obviously, the the international field is great with the two Kenyans up top. But like the, the American field, seeing Molly Seidel, Des Linden, and Sarah Hall on the starting line, that's going to be good, some good stuff. Obviously, mm -hmm. especially I love to, I'm excited to see Sarah Hall and Des Linden because those are two, you know, all-time great athletes, you could say. I mean, Des Linden obviously has a little more of a pedigree because she has that Boston win. Uh, yeah. But Sarah Hall, she has some great finishes, especially the one she did in was Berlin, yeah. right? Or no, it was mm -hmm. London where she got London, second, right? yeah. Yeah, London. Yeah. Um, and they both kind of have that the edge of, you know, they didn't make the Olympics. I think Des was fourth. Sarah Hall was a favorite to be top three. She didn't have a good run in Atlanta. Um, so they kind of have this like this re this re, what's the word revigorate what's it reinvigorate yeah they're like reinvigorated because coming off of a you know mm -hmm. uh, an Olympic cycle they kind of want to be able to prove themselves again Sarah Hall obviously has uh, world championships to look forward to Des Linden she's kind of on the back half of her career she kind of wants to be able to prove hey I ain't done yet and they also mm -hmm. throw in Molly Seidel who there who is Basically, every time she runs a race, we are good. <laughs> she she does better than the previous one, uh, and so coming off of her good New York City performance and obviously her amazing Tokyo performance, throwing her in that field, can she beat Sarah Hall and Des Linden and r really establish herself as um I'm the top dog for this next five year ten year cycle. Yeah. Or will Sarah Hall or Des Linden be like, not so fast, Molly. You've had a few good races, but <laughs> the vets are here to run this town. I mm -hmm. don't know what's going to happen. I'm excited to watch it. And uh, it's going to be some very uh, entertaining uh, back and forth race results. Here's the one thing yeah. I'm going to be. So Sarah Hall and Molly Seidel are um, they're running at Worlds, right? They're on the world team. With uh, Emma Bates, correct, correct. If Des Linden were to straight up beat both Sarah Hall and Molly Seidel in this mm. race, yeah, how many people would be like, <laughs> "Why isn't Des Linden on the world team?" Yeah, yeah, that's a good question. Although I think, I think Des would be fine. I'm sure she wants to wear the USA jersey yeah. again too. But there's advantages to not running that race. When you don't have, you know, you're not at the stage of your career where you're going to have years and years and years. I think she'd just be happy finishing in front of them. Are you saying there might be confusion, Gordon, stemming from a process that was created halfway through the selection? Do you think yes. that, that could possibly happen? Um, I'm excited to see Lyndon. I'm excited to see Hall. Hall will get a hint on this weekend when she runs the Houston half. But Seidel, for the Americans, is the favorite. And she's going into her, this will be her fifth marathon. The previous four have been spectacular. She's got really strong competition internationally. As I mentioned, Jeb Koskai and Jeb Chircher are legit. So Seidel could run the race of her life and still finish third in this field. But I almost anticipate her 
finishing third because in order to finish third, she's going to have to beat. There's other women who have run 217, there's 218, uh, and then three 219 women on this start list. But it's in Molly Seidel's history that she's going to outrun a lot of people who have better PBs than her. Now, can she outrun Jep Chircher and Jep Koskai, women who not only have great PBs, but have won majors recently and are, two, like I mentioned, two of the top three, perhaps the top two in the world right now. That's going to be a tougher task. But it, again, if you told me Seidel's going to finish third in this field, I wouldn't be surprised. It will be interesting. Seidel, though, you know, can she continue to be the top American like she was in New York and like she was in the Olympics? Paul's beaten her before in London. She obviously didn't win in the Olympic trials. She got second to, to Tulimuk. But this is a tough American field because you go beyond that, even someone like Nell Rojas, who was the top American woman in Boston. There's a lot of other women in here who are capable of having a good day. So as always, there's the race within the race too, that's going to be fun. And it is a, a quality field from both the international perspective and the U.S. perspective. And there's obviously going to be some some crossover there, like how many American women can get in the top five. Because if you can get in the top five in this Boston Marathon, it is a huge accomplishment. Not all marathon fields are created equal. This is one of the best Boston Marathon fields ever on the women's side. So wherever you finish is is going to be one of the highlights of your career if you can get in that top five.